Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 27 a. The Twitch of the Legs of a Frog, and Emma Piggott's White to Powder Puff, The Mysterious Twitchings of Electrified Legs, and Unutterable Flutterings in the Mind of Galvani, His Travail on Mental Miscarriages, or Ideas that Could Not Be Born Properly, The Twitch of Trivialities that Were Faint and Fantastic Germinations in the Mind of Galvani, the uninterpretable meanings of far distant tongues of motors, these prenatal stirrings of airplanes and transportation systems and the lighting operations of cities, twitch of the legs of a frog, a woman, from Brewster, New York, annoyed a hotel clerk. My general expression is that all human beings who can do anything, and dogs that track and sink quarry, and homing pigeons, and bird charming snakes, and caterpillars who transform into butterflies, are magicians. In the lower, or quite as truly higher, considering them the more aristocratic and established forms of being, the miracles are standardized and limited. But human affairs are still developing, and sports, as the biologists call them, are a far more frequent occurrence among humans. But their development depends very much upon a sense of sureness of reward for the pains, travail, and discouragements of the long, little paid period of apprenticeship, which makes questionable whether it is ever worthwhile to learn anything. Reward depends upon harmonization with the dominant spirit of an era. Considering modern data, it is likely that many of the fakirs of the past, who are now known as saints, did, or to some degree did, perform the miracles that have been attributed to them. Miracles, or stunts, that were in accord with the dominant power of the period were fostered, and miracles that conflicted with, or that did not contribute to, the glory of the church, were discouraged, or were savagely suppressed. There could be no development of mechanical, chemical, or electric miracles, 